So this is our last week with our Itasca Sunstar. We've had it the last five years. It's been a great RV. Time to move up to a Winnebago Adventure. It'll be a little bit uh, longer than this one. I think a little more comfortable. One of the things we loved about this uh, particular motorhome is the large awning. Uh, it's an automatic awning that uh, gives us 19 feet of shade pretty much the whole side, this side of the uh, RV. Just want to walk around the RV and just uh, so we can remember her. We uh, affectionately called her the big white box because uh, that's what she was. And uh, we had 51 camping trips in her and uh, she was a great motorhome. We'll miss her. Spent a lot of time out here on the side in a camping chair. One of the things we loved about her was the large um, storage compartment in the back. You could get to it on the side or in the back. Really like the safety of the backup camera. And, uh, I had uh, could tow 5,000 pounds with it, so we easily towed our CRV and had the one little slide out that added a lot of room in the on the inside. Okay, now I'd like to take you on a little tour on the outside of the big white box to look inside the various compartments and how we uh, use them to store things. So, first of all, starting with the engine. Really easy to maintain the uh, F53 just as laid out really nicely, all the, everything you need to check is laid out really nice, easy to get to. Moving around here is the uh, propane tank. And uh, we installed a um, additional valve so we could actually uh, run our grill from here as well. That turned out to be really handy. This compartment, since it was right by the uh, awning, we used it to store all of our sodas, all of our picnic supplies, and you can see we have our um, vacuum cleaner there as well because there's also a plug uh, there so we could keep it charged. Next over here is the water tank. So this is a 60 gallon water tank and you can see the water pump over there on the right. And I got a little over 20 gallons in there right now. Now we have the big cavernous storage area here that we used to call this the uh, belly because it's so big, it kind of swallows up everything. And uh, right up front here, I would generally keep my fresh water supplies. Next to that, various tools. And then in back of that, just, uh, you know, looks like a mess right now. But uh, our extra supply of papers, extra supplies of just about everything. And generally when we got out of the campground, it's so easy to set up here because right here I have the mat. I would just uh, take out um, this, take out our rug, take out our chairs. It's all in the right order. I'd set it up and uh, within five minutes we'd have our camp made. Uh, over on this side is where I store our towing equipment. So you can see the tow bag with various accessories in it and our brake buddy um, for the towed. So uh, that's how we um, utilize this space. Next over here is generator. This thing ran like a champ the whole time. I think we only have about 150 hours on it or so, a little bit less than that. There's our water storage area, and uh, this worked pretty well. You can see for safety, I have Purell and gloves handy anytime I'm dealing with uh, the black or the gray tank. It's a 30 amp service, and uh, you know, overall that worked out pretty well. These next two compartments are actually connected together for one big long compartment, and uh, in here I would keep uh, all of our um, black tank hoses, you know, for dumping and uh, 
kept all that in one place in a in a container so it didn't contaminate anything else. Next is my detailing supplies for the RV. And more detailing supplies and our Weber grill. So this space worked out really well because a slide out goes over it. You know, I put things here that I'm not going to be in and out all the time so I don't hit my head on the slide, but these things uh, really worked out well for this area. The last compartment is for the hydraulic levelers. So this is the um, Lippert hydraulic levelers. And uh, for us, you know, they worked out really well. I know some people had problems with some of these and the slide mechanisms as well. Slide worked like a champ for us the whole five years. And uh, these jacks actually worked every single time for us. Sometimes they would be a little finicky, but I found that once I um, just sprayed the um, jacks uh, each trip with a little silicon uh, spray, they just worked um, flawlessly. So anyway, very happy overall with the quality of Winnebago and how this RV worked for us. One last shot of our big white box in front of our home. And there you go, we'll miss her. Here's one last uh, look outside the windshield of the big white box. It's pretty comfortable traveling in here. The This particular model is a little bumpy on, on rough roads, on smooth roads. It went really well. The cockpit was comfortable. Uh, drove many thousands of miles here. Uh, it has uh, automatic levelers over to the right. and. Uh, backup camera on top of that, a trip computer over to the left, and uh, yeah, kind of a just okay uh, sound system. Uh, the TV up front was pretty nice. I went ahead and connected the HDMI cable to it so we could hook up our Apple TV and that worked out really good. Um, over here, the uh, jack uh, for the uh, antenna worked out really good. It's digital, so we could get all the free digital signals in the areas that we are camping. So that worked out pretty well as well. Let's see, up in the front, in here is a pretty nice cabinet. I would store all of our electronic goodies and uh, remotes, things like that. And, um, you know, so they'd have uh, pretty easy access. Uh, I'd taken them out already getting ready for the new RV, but that's where we stored them. Over here, the other side is our game cabinet. So pretty much the primary game that we played is Triominoes. Pretty much a standard for us and we would uh, enjoy a game of Triominoes every single night. Over here, also removed already, is our dog cabinet. So, you know, Charlie and Lucy uh, got their own cabinet. Uh, so dog dishes, dog food, treats, leashes, you name it. Really handy because it was right next to the door. One thing that's nice about these chairs up front too is we could swivel them around so they really became part of the living room. And uh, so when we were entertaining, we could have at least three adults in these three chairs and another four adults right in the um, dinette. So we really like the dinette and, and one of the requirements of our new RV is that it did have a dinette um, because we spend a lot of time sitting around here drinking coffee, uh, playing games, eating, and uh, it's just a nice space for us and, and we really like it. And um, one of the things I love about our new motorhome is this window will be facing on the passenger side so we'll have a view of our campsite or if we're traveling down the coast we'll have a view of the ocean from the dinette so that'll be nice. In here, where we keep our pots and pans. A lot of these things are collapsible, but everything we have in the RV was meant to stay in the RV. We went on a trip, when we, when we had planned to go on a trip, we'd basically just add food, add our clothes, and go, because we had a duplicate of everything here. Um, on this side, we have our uh, stove and oven and uh, the oven yeah it's really hard to keep a consistent temperature but yeah we cooked a, a lot in there primarily use the, the stove top 
And uh, over on the side is where uh, some controls for um, the electrical system and uh, awning controls, light controls were here. I did upgrade the converter to a uh, three-stage converter so we could keep it plugged in all the time. And that turned out to be really handy. Um, occasionally use a microwave. We're not really microwave uh, people. We like to uh, cook with fresh uh, foods. But, you know, it's handy every once in a while. Um, over here is where we keep the coffee pot, the sink. I did replace the stock um, faucet that came with this and uh, installed this one. It's kind of nice because uh, it's a little bit higher. It has a pull-out handle, so it's just uh, and it was made out of metal, so it was really nice to use. In this cabinet, we'd have a wastebasket, broom. These cabinets is where we would store all of our eating uh, plates, cups, napkins. And here uh, we'd have our coffee cups. And uh, that's about it for the uh, front. I, well, let me say a word about the uh, refrigerator and the pantry. So the pantry is already emptied, um, but we would basically keep everything uh, that we needed for the trip in here. All of our food pretty much went here and in the refrigerator. Uh, Debbie installed these tap lights, which, uh, you know, were really useful if you're opening this. And it was uh, evening. Refrigerator came with a nice little freezer and refrigerator area. So uh, always had cold food. It worked like a charm for us. Really worked well. Over here is the one place panel. So with a quick press of a button, we can find out how our tanks were doing. Start the generator. Start the water heater. The water pump, and uh, turn on the air conditioner. Air conditioner's on right now. Slide out switches over here. Mid coach is our bathroom, and uh, this is a shower that we had. It was nice and tall for me. I'm over six feet, and that worked out really well. And uh, you can see it just uh, worked out really well for us. Nice thing about this is you could open the bathroom door here and close off the bathroom area. So this is really a uh, private bath in that case. And the hallway kind of became part of the bath, so it actually turned out to feel a lot bigger than it would have otherwise. Of course, here's the bathroom with the fan on top, the sink, and the toilet. It's a little tight space in here, but you can see that uh, kept our medications, you know, first aid kit, all of our toiletries are here, extra cloth cloths and so on. So it's a handy place. Finally, I have a uh, our rear bedroom. And uh, the interesting thing is I hear so much about how um, RV beds are hard to sleep in. Um, but we found this bedroom to be as comfortable or maybe even more comfortable than our um, bedroom in our in our home. So it's just very comfortable to sleep in, and we always had good night's sleeps here. One more shot of our very comfortable bedroom. Did want to point out that there is wardrobes on either side for me and Debbie. Um, above the bed was uh, another cabinets, and we would generally keep our dirty clothes, where you keep extra pillows or whatever we wanted uh, up there. And that, in a nutshell, is our motor home. We, uh, like I said, just thoroughly enjoyed camping in uh, over 51 times in her over the five years that we owned her. And as you can see, it looks almost like new. You know, we put very little wear and tear on it. Uh, it's still, everything works perfect. Uh, it's just been a great RV to have. Um, Winnebago makes the sun star and uh, really loved it. Um, next week we'll be picking up our new uh, adventure, which is the higher line that Winnebago makes in the in the gas RVs. And I think when I do the video there, you'll see there's a lot more amenities, a lot, a lot more quality ingredients. But honestly, you know this uh, we the wear and tear on this was very minimal, and it worked out very well for us. So uh, goodbye, big white box. We'll miss you.